Welcome to Cars and Questions, the show where we go to car meets and ask dumb questions. Today, we spoke with a Corvette owner who just bought his car two weeks ago, as well as a Rivian employee, and we got his thoughts on the Tesla Cybertruck. This is going to be a good one. Hope you enjoy. Uh, we're here at Cars in Christ uh, with the with the Rivian employee. This is Pierce Mohammadi. Pierce, nice to meet you, man. And so, tell me a little bit more about the Rivian. Yeah, so uh, I run a technical trades program out of Collin College in Allen, Texas, and this is our lab vehicle. So uh, this is actually the vehicle that my students will be tearing down, putting uh, back Whoa. together, probably multiple times. Oh my god! Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But you know, at the end of the day. Uh, we we had to be able to drive when we were done. Yeah. So this is the uh, the true test of uh, the true test of my uh, confidence and my students' abilities. Wow. Okay. You're, <laughs> so how long have you had it then? Uh. So this has been with the company since it was built, which is probably about a year and a half, roughly. Okay. I want to say this was a 2023 build. Okay. Uh. And yeah, it was specifically sent from the factory to wow. my program, yeah. Allen, Texas. Nice. So so how many miles do you have on it right now? Uh, not a ton because it doesn't really get driven that much. Like okay. for the most part, it's a lab vehicle. I think it's less than a thousand. Okay, nice. And when you tear it apart, are you trying to study the vehicle? Or are you trying to modify it in any way? No. So what my program primarily focuses on is uh, training future service technicians. Okay. So we're doing stuff like removing door handles, uh, window regulators, uh, door latches. Nice. As well as like front and rear subframes. Okay. Out, swapping out motors. Yeah. And stuff like that. Uh, we're just, it's, so there's a lot of technical aspects to it. There's a lot of electrical diagnosis yeah. to it as well. Yeah. Uh, but for the most part, it's really just preparing the students for the real world, the day-to-day -day of working at a Rivian service center. Okay, nice. Um, so Rivian, they might have some reliability issues. Have you had any sort of issues with this truck? No, not necessarily with this truck. Uh, like I said, this one doesn't really stay on the road very much outside of, outside of being worked on. Okay. Uh, yeah, for the most part, uh, you know, I've been in the service industry my whole life. I've worked on BMWs, Teslas. Uh, I owned my own shop for a couple of years. Nice. And uh, I'll say, you know, we only ever see what goes wrong. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, in the case of uh, both Rivian and Tesla, the owners talk a lot yep. to each other. <laughs> and so when one person has an issue, it suddenly becomes very, very public. Okay. Uh, so I don't necessarily know, like... It, I don't know from from the from the technician's perspective it's hard to it's hard to speak about reliability because, okay uh at the end of the day uh if everything's working fine i'm not seeing the truck exactly <laughs> yeah that's true that's very true so unbiased opinion rivian r1t versus the tesla cybertruck i am gonna be biased okay but yeah I definitely prefer this over a cybertruck. okay what what are your honest thoughts about the cybertruck i appreciate that Tesla did something bold. Okay. There's a lot of gray, white, and black cars on the road, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. There's a lot of just generic, everything's starting to look the same nowadays. And I really, I can appreciate that Tesla did something that is very out there. Yeah. And very different. And there's nothing else on the road like that. I've seen one in person. And it's oh, okay. Wild. Yeah. It's wild. I don't think I've seen one in person yet. It's the, is, it, is it a little ugly, though, or...? I can't stand it. Yeah. <laughs> I hate the way it looks. I know. But I appreciate that a manufacturer has the guts to put something that polarizing out there. Nice. Everybody's playing it safe now. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone. Yeah. True. It's not my song. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for your time, man. I appreciate it. We're back at Cars in Christ uh, here in Cars and Questions, and we're with Leland Sanders from Kansas City, Missouri. Awesome. So tell me a little bit more about your Corvette, please. I just got her about two weeks ago here, and uh, here, what, what was the seat I got it from? I got it from uh, 
I be up in Fort Worth, I believe it was. Uh -huh. So I'm not from here. So I got about two weeks ago. I dropped it off at um, 21st Century. They did a small tune for me. Exhaust, headers, new intake, things like that. New tires. I had to put a whole new system in there. I don't like anything stock. So I had to get a whole new system, everything all in the day. It took over a, a week to get done. I wanted it done in the day, but it took over about a week to get done. I just yeah. recently got her back. And I'm happy with her. I love her. She's fast. She's not fast enough, but <laughs> she does. She does it for now. You'll get there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Eventually, I will. And so you mentioned you only got it two weeks ago. Yeah, this got it two weeks ago. I, I was. Uh, I done. I looked at some Porsches. I looked at uh, some C8s, and um, I just happened just to run into this. And I wasn't planning on purchasing her. Um, the guy I bought her from, he's like, "Hey, I've been having it for two years. I've been sitting in my garage. I get her out maybe once every six months." And um, um, she, I, I took very good care of her. So, um, if you like her, Hey, she needs a new home. So I drove <laughs> her around and the next day I came back out, drove her again. And I was like, you know what? I'll go ahead and take her home. Nice. So here next week, I take her back to Kansas city. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, and you mentioned this is your first toy. So what's yeah. your daily driver? So my daily driver. So back home in Kansas city, I own a chauffeur limousine service. So I'm always nice. in our luxury vehicles, yeah. our escalades and sedans and so on and so forth. That's why I got this. I said, you know what? I need something for me. <laughs> and instead of my employees getting in it and, you know, just driving slow because they always have customers. So I said, I need something that's fast. Mm. So that's why I went ahead and got this. That right. way no one could touch it. No, I don't want anyone messing with my ready or anything because this is specifically <laughs> mine. <laughs> okay, awesome. So, so this is just your first toy. Um, you're obviously going to step up, you know, yes. to maybe... A, nicer yes so, maybe so D8 yeah yeah, in the yeah. Future? but actually yes yeah, so i'm a car guy here mm -hmm. so actually since i just got this i already thought about um selling this and um it's been two it. weeks i know i know i know <laughs> so the actually one I, I really really want is the the um the z06 same okay. color same everything z06 went over there um and then the, the lexus lc5 that has okay. always been my favorite and actually this mercedes right here i looked oh, at the a few AGT. of them back yes i looked a few of those back home in kansas city yeah um, I'm just one of those type of people. I'm not, I'm not connected to anything. I believe I, me, anything's for sale. Okay. So, um, I'm, I'm just a car enthusiast. Uh, I was just at Lamborghini yesterday. Nice. Looking at some of the Evos. So, um, actually my plans here, when I set my office up here in Dallas yeah. next year, I plan on getting an Evo or a Huracan or something like that. Awesome. So, yeah. And so when you set your office up in Dallas, are you going to move out here for a little bit? Yeah. So right now I'm in the process of buying a house back home in Kansas City for me and the kids. That way when I go back home, I have a place to stay. Nice. Because my daughter runs that office there. Here in Dallas, here, mostly like July, June, July, I should go live, start my chauffeur limousine service here. Wow. And in 24 awesome. months, the max, 12, 24 months, hopefully I have my Evo or, or Huracan. Sweet. Yeah. And uh, last question for you. Money, no object. What car would you buy? Oh wow! Uh, money, no object. Probably first would probably be a Duesenberg. Um, ah, yes. Uh, probably a Duesenberg. Uh, it's it's hard since I'm a car guy. It's, yeah. it's hard, but that you one eight. No, yeah, sure. yeah. You know, actually, I would like to have it like Jay Leno, like a a, a, a airplane hangar yeah. full of vehicles. Um, like even this uh this Buick right here. I believe yeah. this is a Buick. Yes. Uh, Grand Nationals. This everything. Chevelles. This 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 everything. <laughs> so money, no object. It would be it'd be kind of tough. Okay, kind of tough. If yeah. you had to choose just one, what would it be? I I I, I oh man, <laughs> uh, I probably I would say just one. Oh man, I was about to say a Lamborghini Aventador. I probably a, a SVJ. Good. Yeah, um, good choice. Uh, I I I. I Honestly, I, I, I could tell you because right, I get bored with it to get rid of it. Yeah, no, let's let's go Aventador SVJ then. Okay, yeah, yeah Aventador okay. SVJ. Yes, 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 yes. All yes, right, yes, yes. awesome. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. It's Appreciate a pleasure. It. It's happened like four times. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Nobody. It's okay. Well, let's go fast. Yeah. Edit it out.